today we are gonna take a look at Battletoads uh, and I will give you just my thoughts on it in a segment I call Pass or Play. I have a lot of games on Game Pass so I kind of just want to go through them, give you my thoughts and you can decide whether you want to pass or play the game and I'll let you know what I think of it, whether you should pass on it or continue to play it. Um, I played a little bit of Battletoads so far, I really like it. Um, a little bit, about two hours is what I've played so far. It's really funny, but let's jump in and take a look at some of it. Right, you can you can play up to three players. Uh, it's offline co-op only. If you play single player, you'll be able to switch between the battle tones on the fly. So I'm only playing by myself. So I am going to uh, start it off here. I believe as Zitz. Zitz or Pimple? No, as Rash. Rash, I believe. Um, I've been a fan of Battletoads since the Nintendo version. I played the arcade version. I played Battletoads and Double Dragon. So I, I, I love these old school beat-em-ups. Um, like I said, I'm about an hour into the game. Essentially, it's it's just like the old games, except you know with it, with an upgrade. So you you get the better graph. Well, okay. Here's what I like about it so far. I love the graphics. The game is hilarious. Um. The color, the art style, everything. It, it reminds me of an old cartoon I used to watch called Earthworm Jim. It's got that same kind of comedy to it. Um, the story right now are the Battletoads. They've been stuck in some kind of... Uh, they've been stuck in some kind of bunker for like 20 years. And now they've been freed and they don't know what to do with themselves. They used to be heroes, now they're not anymore. And so they've had to go and work regular jobs. There's actually a really funny cutscene right after you finish the tutorial level where you kind of even like play through some of their jobs where, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember the names. Rash, Zitz, and Pimple. I believe Rash is uh, the big one. Let's see here. Okay, so we can, we can kind of check. Okay, Pimple is the big one. Rash is the leader. Zitz is the fast one. So Rash is, is, is uh, working as a masseuse. Uh, Zitz is working in an office and Pimple is signing autographs for like five bucks. So they're all washed up pretty much. And Zitz comes with a plan comes up with a plan to kind of come back. So here we are. We are looking for the Dark Queen, which was the main villain from the first game. In the in the original Battletoads, everything was super serious. In this one, it's it everything's fourth wall breaking and kind of parodying. Uh, the old 90s games. So we're kind of in a sewer type level now. It also, it's also got like a kind of a, a Rick and Morty feel to it too. When, when you hear some of the delivery, I'll play one of the cutscenes at the very end and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you have your basic attacks, which is the X button. You have heavy attacks or like kind of an aerial attack where you can kind of throw them up in the air. You have enemies that will block, so you hold down the B button and that will stun them and allow you to uh, follow up with hits. These flies, you collect them for health. You can also use your tongue for other maneuvers, which I'll show you later. Um, the the kind of, the goal is to keep your combo going as long as you can. If, if you played an old beat em up like Streets of Rage or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you'd be very familiar with what this is. Um, there are levels that I've played so far where you're on a, a, a speeder bike. It's kind of a uh, auto scrolling level. It's very difficult. There is an invincibility button that you can use. I, ha I, I normally when it comes to stuff like that, I don't like using invincibility. But I, I don't like uh, like win, uh, just instant win buttons, and that's what that feels like. So I don't like uh, using them. I haven't tried it yet. I will eventually. I don't know if I can if I can hit the yeah. It looks like I can hit the oh okay. And then there you go. He can he can. Uh, gonna let you hit me if I hit that so I am going to wait till he powers up like that and then jump in. So yeah each uh so most enemies have unique attacks have unique uh, moves that they can do and you have to fight them differently but for the most part you can you can kind of just button mash through through most of the simple enemies there are boss fights and there's actually like things you can do in between fights so here there, there's there's a lot of little nuances in the game you can use you can actually spit bubble gum to kind of freeze your enemies in place. I'll show you that. And there's also puzzles in this game, which I find interesting. They really break up the monotony of a beat-em-up. 
So this is a really simple puzzle here where you kind of have to just lead the, uh, the charge through all the different areas here. So you have to line it up. So here now it will actually go all the way to the bottom, but now I need it to go to the top. So we have to kind of mess with the, uh, construction of things. This one's a bit more complicated than the ones I, I, I'm guessing they get harder and harder. Okay, so this one will go up, down. Okay, so here we're going to go this way. Hopefully I can figure this out. Okay, so we are going to have to go down, down this way, and then it's going to go up, and it's going to go through here. Okay, let's see if actually, I think this might do it. No, there's an X. We can't go through that way. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can do it this way. Let's see what happens when we hit this button. Okay, so that's where it breaks down. So we need to see if this works. Okay, so it's going to go down. So we have to. Connect here, and then it's going to go down, 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 up, up through there, all the way up there. So we need to. I need a whole case here. of zip splits. I got some hacking to do. Okay, let's see what happens here. I don't want to spend. Oh, obviously. Okay. All right, so we need to fix the connection here. And here. Okay. Let's see if we can get to at least the third one here. This way. Nope, we need a connection there. Why did we break down there? Because we can't go further down. Okay. I'm gonna chug me this is one of the trigger puzzles here. Okay, so if you can't get it, I obviously am not gonna spend more time on this, so I'm just gonna use this. It's very cool that they add that in there. That way you don't get frustrated. So I'm just gonna bypass it, and we're gonna keep on moving. Through. It looks like there's gonna be a battle. Okay, so the gum spinning, I'll, I'll show you what that does. So here, you can use the gum spinning and that will hold them in place to where you can attack them. Use it on him, that way he doesn't attack us while we attack him there. There's also a dodge mechanic there. Um, some enemies actually are, they, they're pretty much invincible, so they'll be able to take your hits and you kind of have to wait for them to do a certain thing before you can counterattack. I'll show you what that looks like once I encounter one of those enemies. But overall, a very fun game. The, the music's nothing to write home about. It, it's it's pretty basic, just like butt rock, if you will. But like I said, I'm enjoying my, my time with the game. Okay. So, Rash is... Rash is the, the, the in-between... The, the two different characters. Pimple is the strongest one, Zitz is the fastest, and Rash, the leader, is somewhere in between. I have got to take these guys out. They are causing me a lot of problems. Alright, one down. Some flies, so we get some health back. And then we're gonna use our gum here to knock this guy out. And we gotta move, otherwise he's gonna fry us. So when they block like that, like I said, you have to kind of do a, a power up move to remove their block guard. And this guy here is electrocuting the water, so I'm gonna take him out now, and that should be all of them. Um, while the other guys are resting up, they will recover energy, so that's a cool thing as well. Animation's very smooth, like I said. 
sounds nothing to write home about. The, action, the music actually like cuts out. Well, I, I guess there's some ominous music in the background. Oh, and yeah, there you go. So you can actually use the gum and activate things in the background uh, when you're going from fight to fight. So that's kind of cool. And if there's nothing, they won't spit. They'll just kind of hold their breath. The other thing you can do is, sw is swing back and forth between backgrounds here. Using these tongue rings, they call them. Like we have our work coming out for us here. I can see how this game could get repetitive after time, but so far, I'm liking it a lot. I, If nothing else, the story is what's driving me forward. I dig that. Like the, the cutscenes are hilarious. The the voice acting at the beginning in the beginning I thought the voice acting was wasn't that great. But as I get further into the game, I'm I'm enjoying it more and more. It, it's funny, it's cheesy, and I like it a lot. And I should have timed that jump better. It, there's enough variety in there to where you won't get bored very easily. I have to stop using that maneuver. I gotta get out of the water there. The other thing I was talking about is the animation. If you can't tell, like, as you do different moves, they transform into different characters. It, it's very much like playing a cartoon. I, I am... I'm in love with the, the art style and the animation. I'm, I'm essentially playing a cartoon, which is really cool. Once again, this game is get out on Game Pass for Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's out on PC. I'm playing it on Xbox One X right now. And if you have Game Pass, you can download it for free. Um, I kind of don't like saying you can download it for free because obviously you need to pay for Game Pass. So you have to have the subscription to download the game. Uh, but you are you can also buy the game. Would I recommend buying it? I probably wouldn't buy it when it first comes out, but it, since I have Game Pass, it doesn't hurt for me to try it, so. These games are, are kind of made to be repetitive, and I, I, I like that they, they've kind of added... You, you have to really think about the combat. You can button mash, but that's only going to get you so far. You really do have to, uh, have, to, have to think about what you're doing and really use your moveset, your entire moveset. That was all my battle toads. Luckily, the checkpoint's not that far away, so we can get there relatively quick. Didn't want to die during the quick look, but uh, now it happens. It's a video game. <laughs> I don't mind. Luckily, like I said, the the checkpoint's not too far ahead, or it was pretty close by, I should say. The other thing I notice, as each character has their own characteristics, like Zitz, he can't take a lot of hits. He's more of a skinnier, fast-paced fighter. Uh, Pimple is slower, but he can dole out a lot of damage. He can also take more damage than the other Battletoads, which is cool, too. And if, if, if you're using all the tools, you should be able to actually get through these battles relatively easily. Or with enough strategy to where you, you, you don't die like I did. Hopefully that won't happen again. There, they wanted me to use the gum on that guy, so he quits throwing the gum at me. And here you can see some of the different animations. Like, Pimple there turns into a baboon when he does a strong attack. So, so far they've taken the, the old school beat em up formula and they've kind of added things to keep it fresh. Which I like. It, it's very reminiscent. I, I like the resurgence of beat em ups now. Uh, we had Streets of Rage 4 and now we had the Battletoads. Toads. 
I haven't played it multiplayer, but I could see how it could be really fun. What are we doing again? Uh, I'm gonna puke. Fighting is harder than I remember. Oof. Oh, swallowed it. <laughs> and that's the, the the type of humor that I was talking about. It's very childish, um, but it's funny to me. It's just dumb humor. Uh, this is another type of minigame that they implemented in there where you kind of can hack to open doors. And you just move the battle toad across the screen. All the while these things are spinning. And they have different different things that you have to do. I was able to get through that one relatively quick. Some of them are a bit harder. But it's basically just moving the battle toad across. There we go. These are just collectibles. I don't know what they do yet because I have yet to collect all five in one level. But you collect them throughout the level and you get them for doing different things. So. Okay. I have to learn to take these guys out first because they are causing a lot of damage. I also really love the enemy designs in this game. We have a dash maneuver that we can use as well. Down to my last guy here, so I gotta make sure I don't get taken out. For me, I've got one more. I think I can do this. As long as I mind my strategy, I should be able to finish these guys off without dying. And make sure I eat these flies. There's also a very simple combo system. I'm not sure exactly if the combo system adds anything to your final score or anything like that. I've comboed as high as 100 hits. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't really from what I can tell it doesn't really do anything for you if you combo like you don't go into like a hyper mode if you combo a lot we started off in an abandoned funhouse type area so you definitely have a a good level variety so far and now we're, we're we the abandoned fun house turns into a sewer level, which I'm never a fan of. But uh, this one at least looks colorful and fun. Now we just have to break their shield, and we're able to do that. Or not. There we go. Oh, also, when you tag them in, there's also, like I said, little animation touches. As they come in, they have different animations. He warps out. It's just really cool. Really cool to see the little touches they added to this game. Let's spit on that.
definitely don't like these small areas here. Okay, not a problem. We're we're relatively nearby. I also like that the fact the fact that the checkpoints are relative are pretty close by. The other thing is situational awareness in this game is, is huge. You always have to pay attention. Like the guy behind me was just about to hit me, so I had to make sure I stepped away. You have to use your entire move set to take out the enemies. Like if I didn't spit at that guy, I spit my bubblegum at that guy there, he would have probably did that <laughs> right there. Forgot the other thing we can use our tongue for is to pull enemies closer to us. Let's see if I can do it here. There we go. So that's another move that we can use. They've added a lot of moves to kind of help you control distance, to help you defeat certain enemies. So it's not just a just a button masher. There's more things. That need to be done. This one's gonna be tough. So we have to use a combination of freezing them in place, using our tongue power to bring them in closer. Making sure they don't electrify the water. Or whatever liquid that is there on the ground. to spit on these things. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but it's just fun to do so far. I guess it closes these doors. Sure are putting you in a lot of arenas to... This is mostly what you'll be doing, is kind of the beat-em-up. So if, if, you're, if you want variety, there isn't that much so far. I'm kind of hoping as you get further into the game, there's more of it. But hard to say right now. faster here. I 
feel like I'm a little bit better with Pimple when it comes to taking these guys out. Just because he's stronger, he hits harder. So. Gum also recharges, so you never have to collect it. You just have to wait for the cooldown timer to uh, to get your gum back. As you can see, the minigames change. And if you look, there's actually a saw back there. That I kind of have to... Oh, I was so close. So it's a little bit of a puzzle game, but we figured it out. hoping there is more to this game because right now the tedium is starting to set in a little bit here you're essentially you know fighting the same types of enemies over and over i think this level could have been a lot shorter but we'll see what happens as the game goes on i'm willing to to take a little bit of tedium to get to the cool story you know if, if there's if the, if the story investment's worthwhile, then I can I can deal with a, a few battles, especially if I get better at them, which I think I will over time. Just have to be a little bit better about being aware of where the enemies are and what they are doing. That's bad. <laughs> The other thing I'm starting to notice is when there's a ton of enemies on screen, it's really hard to see where your character is. Battletoads was one of the first games I played for my Nintendo system, and I mean, I, th I think a lot of people that played it will say the most memorable thing is the very difficult speeder bike levels. I was able to get through the first set of speeder bike levels in the original game, and I remember there was kind of a uh, mission where you had to repel down. Actually, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember if you had to do the repelling mission first, 
or if it was the speeder bites first. But I do remember getting stuck at one of the speeder bites levels, I just couldn't pass it. On the plus side, the penalty for dying isn't that bad. The, the checkpoints so far are really nearby, so it's not that much of an issue. I really just want to get uh, through this area just so I can show you, just so we can see if there's an end boss. This is my first time going through this level, so I don't know if there will be an end boss, but what I'm guessing is we will meet up with the uh, Dark Queen and maybe have a fight with her. I'm hoping this game kind of defies conventions when it comes to beat-em-ups. In the beginning, if you lost to the first boss, it, you still get like a victory ceremony. But then again, you were kind of stuck in a, a virtual bunker where your, your wildest dreams came true and it was the Battletoads being the coolest and they were essentially gods in there. But it was just a, it was a simulation. So now that you're out in the real world, the penalties for not defeating the boss might be a bit harder, harsher, but we'll see. definitely after going through this area several times I could see why and how this can get annoying but once again there is an invincibility button I can use I just don't want to use it just yet kind of a, a stickler when it comes to finishing the game like I'm supposed to but I think we might have to just to see if we can get I like the fact that there is an invincibility button 
continues. Looks like we're going to get through this area just fine this time. And hopefully we are not too far away from the boss. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We are going to end it here. Um, if... I had to say pass or play. I'm going to say play. I want to see where this goes. The story is actually really cool and hilarious. In fact, I will play one of the cutscenes here and just kind of give you an idea of the, the type of humor that this game is going for. So this is it here. I will just let this play out. In <laughs> lighter news, we've all heard of Toad in the Hole. But Toads in a hole? Julie Saturn Rings has more. Thanks, Zerp. Sounds bizarre, but that's exactly what a local construction crew discovered this afternoon. Yeah, so we was digging, you know, for construction stuff, and I find this bunker with friggin' frogs trapped inside. And I mean, it stinks. So we checked the wiring, and these morons been in there for 26 years living a simulated fantasy life. And I mean, they stink. 26 years in a fantasy bunker? You'd have to be gullible not to figure that one out. So, frogs, how you feeling? Stupid? We're not frogs. We're toads. The battle toads. We're famous superheroes. This just in. No, you're not. This has been Julie Saturn Rings asking, what are they going to do now? So there you go. That is a little bit of the Battle Toads. Um, for more videos like this, check out things to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, about the game yourself or if you're going to be playing it. Um, until next time, this has been Dimitri with Things to Do, and 